Hi Warriors and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about my recent weight loss. I'm going to be talking about my recent stress levels and my poor body confidence. It's going to be a bit of a ramble. I don't have anything planned. I don't have anything scripted. If you can put up with that, I think this video is probably an important one. So please keep watching. Please give this a thumbs up. I'm really trying to be honest and open with you guys and yeah let's get to the content it's difficult quite to decide where to begin which thing came first what to discuss first but we'll see where this goes basically lately i've been a little bit overwhelmed what has caused this i'm not exactly sure partially it's probably the change of weather it's winter time and this is always a bit more of a struggle for me personally. Secondly, with work and loads of other responsibilities, I've just been getting a bit stressed and a bit anxious and I've been putting too much on my plate. On the days that I'm off, I feel like I have the responsibility to post on my Instagram and on my YouTube and to not let you guys down. A large part of my identity is intertwined with my work ethic and my social media presence, so it can be quite a difficult thing to balance. Anyway, being stuck in this cycle, I've been getting more and more stressed. In the past, this would have translated to me restricting and not eating and coping with stress by holding on to my eating disorder. I just want to put it out there that this is not something I do anymore. I have left the eating disorder behind and as I said, I am recovered. Nothing has changed there. I'm not in a relapse. However, overwhelm does have several other effects on me now. For one, I start to overthink. At times this may lead to insomnia and it may lead to some negative thought spirals, which I try to fight with gratitude and other reflective practices that I still try to engage with and that I try to do more regularly after having forgotten about it a little bit lately. In addition, I might experience a bit of emotional turmoil. And these things, in combination with my recent weight loss, have led to some body image issues and struggles. But let me backtrack a little bit, my recent weight loss. Before I go on, I wanna just say that this is not more than a kilo, maybe two at most. But having been on a bit of a weight gain journey and excited to put on a few pounds, that is enough to disappoint me and make me feel like maybe I didn't try hard enough, maybe I'm not good enough. In the past, I took great pride in being good at losing weight, whereas gaining weight is so much more difficult. But you know what, just because it's difficult doesn't mean I'm just going to give up. I am going to keep going. Over the past few days, weeks, however, it has definitely given me a big hit to my self-esteem. I noticed in the gym that I wasn't able to lift quite as heavy. Normally, the gym gives me a massive boost. And knowing that I'm working towards maybe gaining some more curves gives me a massive boost. Knowing now that I've failed in achieving that, It's just, just a bit of a disappointment. However, I'm, I'm not just gonna sit here and sulk. When I told my boyfriend about what's been going on in my head lately, he said, what would you tell your followers? Apply that to yourself. I know what I would tell you. So I know what I will be doing in the future. I will be trying to eat more and eat more regularly, especially at work. This isn't always easy because some moments might be fairly quiet, whereas the next, everything's kicking off, I have to be in 10 places at the same time, and I've forgotten to have lunch. I'm gonna try to do better. I'll also be having some more mass gainers, just cause they're nice little drinks to have now and then to just add a few more calories in. Secondly, I'm gonna get onto the self affirmations and the gratitude. I'm gonna make a point of doing this every single day, if not at least every other day. I have done this before and I know it has made a massive, massive impact on me mentally. 
So I'm gonna do it again. Thirdly, I'm gonna try to relax a little more. Every day, I'm gonna try to incorporate some breaks and have some me time. During this time, I won't be on social media, I won't be on YouTube, I won't even be on my computer. I'll go for a walk, or read a book, or call my parents. Anything just to empty that crazy brain of mine. Fourthly, I'm gonna get back to the visualizations. Trying to determine my goals and visualize myself reaching them has made a massive impact in my life before and I know it easily can again. It's just right now I feel a little bit lost, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do and I think that is a big part of my stress so I'm gonna see if I can sort that out. Lastly, during this lockdown I'm not really exercising. I might go for a walk and I'll do a workout or two every week. A bit of maintenance, but that's about it. I won't be gymming four times a week or whatever else I was doing before. Whilst it's a great way for me to relax and to let off some steam, at the moment, because I've been so stressed, I think, I've just been feeling a bit tired and I'm gonna listen to my body. If it says, yes, go ahead and exercise, sure I will. But if right now it's just telling me to make some banana bread and take a nap, then that's what I will do. This will help me mentally, it will help my hormones rebalance, and it'll just help me feel my best. So that is what I'm planning to do. I realise that in spite of not having seen my family for a year, getting stressed with work, not quite knowing my life purpose and feeling generally just a bit wonky in the head. I I do appear quite jolly and just upbeat in this video and yeah, I am personally also quite surprised that I didn't break down as I have quite a few times in the past few days. But I think just talking about things with my boyfriend, him really being there to listen to me and me finally really opening up has really helped and yeah, trying to write things, get things out of my head, talking to you guys has really helped as well, so, yeah. Anyway, I didn't make this video, as I said before, just to make you feel sorry for me. It's not a video for me to feel sorry for myself. It's just a video to tell you of my intentions, so that I can hold myself accountable, so that I know what I'm doing, and just to get this off my mind. Now that I've talked about it, it's an issue of the past. In a moment, I'll be having my banana bread. I'll be journaling for a bit. And then I won't think about this anymore. I'll stop dwelling about my body and the parts of it that currently I'm just not liking as much. I've identified the problem and I'm just ready to move on now. Anyway, I thought that nevertheless, I'd be honest with you guys. Just let you know what's up and I hope you appreciate my honesty. Anyway, I love you all loads, let me know how you're all doing below and I will see you soon for another video.